So now in this video, we're going to show how we can use arrays to encapsulate other objects, in this case a movie clip, and how arrays can then be used to access dynamically these different objects on the stage. I've modified our example, so we're no longer working with strings. We're actually now moving, we're working exclusively with movie clips. So on the stage, I have four objects here. In this case, they're four circles. They're each named circle one, circle two, circle three, and circle four. If I want to access, uh, if I want to access each one of these items in an array, I can actually build an array using these instance names. So on line three, I now have an array, in this case, my array, and it's, I'm using the actual instance names of these objects that are on the stage. So in this case, circle one, circle two, circle three, and circle four. I can access any one of these elements just as if I was actually accessing the object itself. So to demonstrate that, I created a line here on line five that is accessing the zero element ID. In this case, the object circle one. After that closing bracket, I can append any movie clip property or method that's associated with a movie clip and then access it just as if I was accessing the object itself. So let's actually run this just to prove uh, how this works. So as you can see, I've accessed the uh, first element, or element zero, which is, in this case, the instance name circle one. I've taken the alpha property, and I've modified its alpha level to 0.2, or 20%. Now using this method, I can then, I can therefore go through every single object in, uh, in this array as a loop. So let me comment out line five and then I can uncomment line seven through nine to show you how this works. You'll notice that I'm using the same loop that I had before. So var i equals, uh, is gonna start off as zero. I'm then going to go through the different, the, to the length of the array, and then actually uh, modify the alpha of each one of these to point two. So let me save this and run this again. And now you see all four of the objects uh, are now, uh, the alpha level is now 0.2. But let's take this a step further. So I'm going to go into this and I'm going to, let's create another instance. And I'm gonna call this circle five. So now I can go in here and I'm not gonna modify the original array. Let's actually push this uh, circle five onto that one. So let's do my array push circle five. You notice that it still changes to uh, semi-transparent. That's because I've taken this particular item and have pushed that onto the end of the array. So I don't have to change my loop. So the loop will always work for every single item in the array, no matter where they are. So that's an example of how we can use arrays to access strings, to access movie clips, or other items inside of your ActionScript or your, uh, or your Flash Professional projects.